to solve an absolute value question, I'm actually a fan of graphing this as a line and that as a line on my coordinate axis. So the absolute value of x minus 2 would be, again, a 45 degree straight line that would cut like that. That would be x minus 2. So absolute value would mean bounce instead of going underneath. Now we want to know when that is going to be less than 3. Now that value would have had to be 2 because of the bounce. Being less than or equal to 3 would mean being underneath this line here at 3. So I can see clearly that there's an answer there and there's an answer there. Now in this situation that was from the positive version of the x minus 2 so literally just x minus 2 is a line and this line was created by negating that so the negative of x minus 2. So what I need to do is I need to find when x minus 2 would equal 3 or when the negative of x minus 2 would equal 3. Now adding 2 to both sides of this, x would be 5. And 5 actually seems like a reasonable answer to that. Over here, x minus 2 would equal neg 3. Add 2 to that side, so x equaling neg 1. Again, a reasonable looking response according to my diagram, which is why I like drawing the diagram, because I know far more likely if I'm going to be right or not. Um, now the other thing about the diagram is that this is a less than, so that means I need my absolute value line to be underneath my 3 line, which means from the minus 1 through to the 5, I can see that my V is under rather than above, so my final answer is going to be between minus 1 and 5, and because it was inclusive in the question, I'm going to use inclusive in my answer.